Hello everyone. This is the inside of the Ogalite Model 3. Trailer I have for sale now. Above the windows you can see some command hooks. Those double as towel holders to dry your towels during the day and at night. The towels double as curtains. So a very simple solution to that problem. And the shelf unit has the electrical panel with inverter and it's a 30 amp service. You see the heater up there. It is controlled by the thermostat on the side of the shelf unit. I have a max fan above, four LED lights in the trailer, plus a battery operated night LED light. It's actually not a night light, it's too bright, but it's for getting in and out of the trailer at night when you don't want to have to fumble with the switches on the lights on the ceiling. You can see there's room for a porta potty that does not come with the trailer. But when I go camping, I take it with me because it's a heck of a lot easier than walking to the campground washroom at night. Sorry for the jigginess. There's the thermostat. Normally, I put the porta potty against the wall here saves a lot of space as you can see this teardrop trailer does not have a sloping back ceiling where most people put a kitchen i like the idea of having a place to crawl into the trailer and take my boots off without getting dirt all over the bed it's a vertically opening door Operated by a gas strut. And it goes up fairly high. I can walk underneath it, but I'm only five foot eight, so you know it could be raised. Haven't really thought about it. Anyway, everything is weather tight. We have LED trailer lights. You see the metal steel at the bottom. A rear trailer hitch could be added to this trailer if you wanted to have a rear bike rack. And this side is fairly blank both i only put two windows and one window on the door this trailer is suitable for winter camping it has an r5 it has one inch of xps styrofoam in between the two layers of phylon fiberglass so it's quite well insulated at the front you can see it's quite aerodynamic it's nicely rounded off have a large tongue box here that's also held up by a gas strut. There is a large deep cycle, deep cycle lead acid battery in here. There's the emergency shutoff. It's a very large tongue box. You could put all your food, a cooler, barbecue, propane tank. It's 20 inches deep and at the back almost as wide as the trailer it's also double weather stripped so it does not leak so you can put stuff in here that uh, you want to keep dry as the rubber latches as well as a key lock to secure it Top is completely flat, makes a good place where you could prepare meals. Set your barbecue on top of it, doesn't really matter. This has independent rubber ride suspension. It's fully adjustable. Right now there are 12 inch radial tires on it that I believe are good for about 80 miles an hour. 
Uh, not that most people tow their trailers 80 miles an hour. Except if you're in, except if you're in the United States, of course. Those are 2,000 pound axles. And the trailer weighs, as it sits, 682 pounds. So you could put, if you really wanted to, you could spread about a thousand pounds around in it somewhere. <laughs> I don't see what you would ever bring camping that would weigh a thousand pounds, but that's not up to me. Okay, it has a swivel tongue hitch on the front. I didn't bother using a permanently mounted center hitch because you just don't have enough clearance. With the swivel mounted tongue, it makes it a lot easier to uh, push it in and out. Uh, what else? Uh, the frame is welded steel and the whole trailer basically is one piece. The box is a very strong box. It's glued and bolted to the tongue. It's also glued to the cabin. And this trailer is incredibly strong. There is no need for stabilizers on the back of this trailer because it simply doesn't move around when you're inside of it. As long as you chalk the wheels, that's all you need. Stabilizers could be added, but I don't feel they're necessary. Uh, I guess that's all I have. I have made a lot of videos about this trailer. You can find them on YouTube. Just do a search for Steve Ogilvie or Ogalite Trailer. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.